Hello people and uh, uh, today I'm going to concentrate on these different tips to kind of look good and you know it is like almost it was like 6 30 in the morning that I'm shooting all of this so so there's this extra level of inspiration that like I don't want to sit and review movies I want to you know speak of these health tips and you know tips to look good so um, this again is a shocking tip with regard to improving your eyesight you know, people, for 20 years of my life, I wore glasses, you know, and in fact, I still do wear glasses for when I really have to look at the computer screen very closely or, you know, for something really important. But now I I drive without my glasses. I, I basically go about my day without my glasses, which is, you know, for a person who was dependent for like 20 years of her life. Yeah, so that's like a long time, right? But now it's it just there's so much freedom. In fact, I've written a book about this also. You can find it on Amazon. It's called Vision Improvement. Um, uh, if you type Amrita Suresh, you will be able to spot this book. So uh, right now I want to give you some tips. Yeah, some very little known tips with regard to improving the sight. You know, people. Okay, this is something I spoke about in my previous video. Did you know this shocking tip? is um urine therapy for the eyes is also very effective yeah i mean because did you know that uh, anything like i mean uh, there are actually urine is also this there are nutrients there and when you splash it in your eyes somewhere your eyes are able to absorb the kind of uh, you know so i know it's a bit um, embarrassing to hear even reveal all of this on youtube and oh my god so many people are watching but it is it is a very effective tip yeah i mean uh, you know and i really have to say this yeah when we go to any doctor or basically optometrist or ophthalmologist or something most people have an attitude that oh my god oh you know these are my health issues please doctor do something it's as if we detach ourselves from that problem i mean we are when in fact with regard to the eyes especially I sat down and I did research to find out what exactly was the cause behind my eyesight going a little, you know. <laughs> so I realized that, did you know that the optic nerves are the most sensitive in the body? I mean, you know, in terms of, um, if you were to look back at the time you got your glasses, invariably, it will be at a time when you um, face some kind of major uh, I won't say upheaval, but something that really kind of, uh, you know, maybe uh, children are known to have got their glasses during certain, uh, you know, probably, probably say the eighth standard wasn't the best, uh, you know, academically you, you didn't do too well in the eighth standard. And invariably, if you look back, you would have got your specs around that time. In fact, um, I know of this case where uh, two children from the same family got glasses over the very same weekend because that was the weekend uh, when their parents were contemplating, contemplating a divorce. So, you know, you would think that uh, glasses are, they, they come because, oh, you're not eating spinach. Oh my God, you're watching too much TV. All these are factors, no doubt. But it is these, you know, the optic nerves. And if you notice, uh, the people who wear glasses, invariably they are more sensitive yeah, as, as human beings, you know. Like, uh, uh, that's what mine is. Uh, this is almost uh, getting to be a four-minute four video. But this, I'll continue in the next video also. Uh, but if you really look at it in classrooms also, invariably they show the first benchers as bespectacled and listening to the teacher's words. I mean, when in fact, if you're sitting in the first bench, you really don't need glasses, you know, if you're like that close to the board. When in fact, the last benchers who are that much away tend to, you know, when they you have to, when you get the image of a typical last bencher, it is not someone with glasses, you know, because the the whole notion is these the people who are like the ones who were in the first bench tend to be that soft, sensitive type. Oh my God, teacher's pet, you know, that very so somewhere their optic nerves are also that much more sensitive. When in fact the ones in the last bench and all are that easygoing, chill, chill, maro yar, lightly that sort of thing, and invariably their optic nerves are also they have that spirit about them so so that's what it's it's a good thing to be sensitive and empathetic as a human being as a person but we need to understand that our eyes are 
at many levels a reflection of ourselves so it's a good thing so now when i know someone is perspective killed i just know inherently that that person is a soft sensitive person so so you know so at one level it's that much easier to reach across to that person because they are that much open to ideas and suggestions and and if you have it in your heart that you have to improve your sight you will yeah people there is there's no doubt about it so so here's looking forward to seeing you in my next video where i'll uh, discuss more techniques on how to improve the sight so thanks for watching people and please subscribe